No, I haven't. I get the wings out. It's vulture circle to just fly. Um, if they see something dead, they're going to perch at it and then perhaps go after it. These guys, are, you know, they don't. So that's just the television vulture. Um, if it's if it's they think it's dead, they'll fly down to a tree and keep a good eye on it, look for breathing, movement, and all. But they're not going to sit, sit and wait for it. If they do anything of the sort. It's a lot more brutal than that. For instance, if they think something, not these so much, but black vultures, white back vultures, the over vultures that are from, you know, the Africa. <coughs> I've watched them if they see a wounded animal that they know should be dead pretty soon, uh, they'll just fly down and beat on it until it dies. They, they have a tendency to be able to finish it off. Or these don't. They, I've never seen them go down and do that. Black vultures, yes, uh, but the turkey vultures, not really. So instead of circling, you know, if they got the attitude, they'll go down and try to, you know, knock it around and finish it off. But these guys, no, they just got to, they circle the move and go where they want to go. But they're mostly perching once they find out what they want. And they'll wait for it. They'll spot it. They look at something that looks dead. They'll remember where it is. They'll go and do, you know, look for more stuff, and then they'll return to make sure it's still there. Uh, they're very, very timid. They really have to be sure that it's dead uh, before they come down. Elliot. 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 Walk around and get a closer look. Right now she's uh, just coming up about five years old. That's trying to pet it. Hmm? She'll bite you. Come on, Jimmy, go. She'll bite you real good. Oh, well, come around. Come, bite me. come around and come up there. Um, yeah, because so even in the wild, their parents don't touch it. You know, you, when you see parents treating one another, you know, no. Oh, go sit right their parents there. do not touch them. So they don't right relate to being touched. Matter of fact, any time they're being touched, it's almost considered as a threat. And I force it upon them, though, so sometimes I will touch them because I, I need to when I'm giving them checkups and doing all that. But it's more that they tolerate it. It's really nothing that they, they enjoy. Pardon me? Uh, actually, a bird like this will uh, be on its own flying within uh, about 18 weeks from the day it hatches. But it will loosely stay around the parents to the following year until they have another one and then will go. Uh, other birds of prey, 15 to 18 weeks, they're flying. And then about 20 weeks, uh, they better leave. Otherwise, the parents will knock them out. You know, knock them out of net. Yeah, they just don't want to deal with it. it you got to go. But see, that's that's nature. That's that's what gets the you know the genetic diversity. The animal needs to go and make its own life. You can't all just hang out in the same tree together. Um, and unfortunately, it's not Disneyland out there. If a year's go, you know, if a hawk is you know born, leaves his parents, and a year goes by, and he's like, wow, it's been a year. I haven't seen mom. Let's stop back and see how she's doing. Uh, he's going to get beat on as if he's an enemy. They, they're just not social animals like that. These slightly more. So they'll spend the first year hanging around the mom, uh, the mom and dad, at least till she lays another egg. 